Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, September 18th, 2024 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Xavier so today looked at a likely malicious keystroke logger written in Python. The script is called I love you.py, which of course brings back memories of the famous I love you virus. I guess some ideas never get old. Xavier found the script by hunting in VirusTotal for scripts using Python's Firebase module. Many attackers use Firebase to store data as it's well, cheap or free and hard to block as it is part of Google's network. Firebase is also often used by mobile applications. Results are then uploaded by the keystroke logger to Firebase at exactly one minute before midnight. Oddly enough, the script is written to only do this once. It will then stop uploading additional data unless the system is being rebooted, at which point, of course, this cycle repeats. Expecting a system to be rebooted uh, every day or so, well, I guess it's not uh, that uh, unrealistic. And of course, the attacker doesn't necessarily need all of your keystrokes just ever so often. A day's worth of keystroke will probably be sufficient. And Broadcom today released an update for VMware vCenter server. The update fixes a vulnerability that could be exploited to execute code remotely. At this point, there is no public exploit. The vulnerability was identified during a Chinese hacker competition, the Matrix Cup. Uh, Restriction by Chinese law to prevent Chinese researchers from participating in contests like Pwn to Own have spawned some of these competitions with similar rules, which means that the vulnerability was reported to Broadcom, and that's why we do have a patch available now. There's no authentication required to exploit this vulnerability. This is the type of vulnerability that we have seen being exploited in the past to deploy ransomware within vCenter environments. So at this point, while there is no exploit publicly available for the vulnerability, that's probably going to change soon. And you will probably have a few days, maybe a couple weeks to patch. Let me have what I would consider sort of a weekly interesting vulnerability chain that uh, is described by Miko Cantella in a recent uh, blog post. It affects older versions of macOS, at least the initial exploits are only applying to Monterey and then Ventura. And that's kind of where it gets a little bit interesting. So the initial vulnerability is an arbitrary file write if you receive a calendar invite. Calendar invites can have extensions. There's a very straightforward directory traversal that allows an attacker to write files anywhere within the calendar sandbox. And that's sort of where the calendar sandbox does its job. It prevents uh, this exploit from affecting other applications. But uh, there's a real kind of interesting uh, code execution path then as you're updating the system from Monterey to Ventura. That's when the code execution actually happens. If you placed the file in the right locations in the calendar sandbox prior to the update. Now, this part isn't really such a big deal given that uh, Monterey and Ventura are fairly old at this point. Uh, I think Ventura sort of came out two years ago, if I remember correctly. There is another vulnerability that affects the photo application that's more recent, and that one apparently was patched with the latest update for macOS. And Google is yet again updating Google Chrome to add more post-quantum cryptography. This time it adds the now finalized module lattice key encapsulation mechanism, ML. KEM uh, to its cipher suites. So uh, this swaps out the prior Kuiper, the pre-standard uh, Kuiper implementation that uh, was included already for a few months, I think at least in uh, Google uh, Chrome. This affects uh, 
TLS and then allows essentially if you have a server that supports these ciphers to actually take advantage of a post quantum cryptography. That's it for today. Let me know if I miss a story or if there's something else that I can improve. And of course, any sharing of this podcast is always appreciated. Thanks and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.